Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z, I am Nick, Zandrock, whatever. And for this match of Mention 59 where we fight Beals and Whis, I have decided to play as Super Saiyan God Goku and have Android 18 as support, Majin Buu as support and interference, and Vegeta Super Saiyan 2 as key because we all know that at one point in time Vegeta was actually stronger than Goku in the Battle of Gods movie. Which was pretty cool, and especially if you're a Vegeta fan. You know, Vegeta finally overpowering Goku, yeah! You gotta love that, don't you? Anyways, I've actually not played this game in, uh, m like months. So, unfortunately, I do start off pretty bad. Cooler Final Form, the Meta Cooler, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly do, in fact, whoop my ass. They whoop it, they beat it, and they wipe it. That's how bad it was. I do not. I did not get a knock. I did not get a uh, knockdown during this fight, but I did get two. T a total of two knockdowns throughout the entirety of the mission, which was unfortunate. Uh, really, I have nothing to say for this mission. Uh, it's not really hard. It's just. The, it's just really the only problem is that, you know, Metal Cooler and fucking Cooler are fighting you. They're after you. They want your sweet ass. That's what they want. And also, I thought I'd, I'd uh, mention a few things that Dragon Ball Z related. First off, I watched IGN. I watched half of IGN's Rewind. Um, Rewind Toilet. Rewind Toilet. Trailer of Battle of uh, Gods. And I. I got kind of sick. I mean, I I felt a little horrible after watching at least half of it. Because in the video, being of the video, they go, you know, we're the two, you know, we're as IGN, we're like the two biggest fans. And then it's just like, did you not hear, like, they were speculating on stuff. They were speculating on uh, certain th things of the movie that we got months before the movie was even released in Japan. Alright? So it was really weird watching it. It was just... Ugh. Also, in other news, the uh, new Dragon Ball Z game, which I unfortunately do not know the name of, is like Xeno something. Uh, Xeno... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use my phone to look up some information, even though I probably should have had this to begin with. Xenover Xenoverse! Oh, that's right, it was called Xenoverse. Anyways. Uh, and almost every single like website where they show information on the game, they keep on saying there's going to be this new character. And there have been so far, the character has had two different hairstyles, but their body has looked exactly the same. In the first, per in the first picture we ever saw of this character, it was, we saw the back of the character with what appeared to be Super Saiyan Tr like Super Saiyan Trunks hair. And in the new picture, we actually see his face. And it's uh, like Gohan's, adult Gohan's hair. So I'm not sure. I, they keep on saying new character, and I hope when they say new character, I hope they mean customized character, and it's not just a new character. You know what I mean? Like, if they want to introduce new characters, fuck yeah. I. If there is a perfect opportunity to do anything new with Dragon Ball Z, it's in video games. You know? Yeah, we. You know, you can do more with the movie. You can do like you can add stuff in the movies. You know. But you can do so a lot with the games, because, like, the games has almost gone out yearly now, you know? Unfortunately, Dragon Ball might be starting to turn into Call of Duty, but then again, with Ultimate Kaichi and Battle of, Z Battle of Z, they changed the gameplay so much that it's not. It's not the same thing. But then again, that's always better. Uh, I'm hoping for... A, I'm hoping if we do get... Cause, uh, I, yeah, I want I, it's gonna be, I hope he cuts my character, but you never know, shit always just happens that you never know, expected. Hoping for customized characters, I'm hoping for a female, I'm hoping for a female character, because I am tired of the sausage fest, I mean, come on, the only female in this game is freaking Android 18, and I can't, and I don't really play as her because she's a support character, you know? The only time I heal is when I play online. 
And if I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna play as Whis. I'm not gonna play as 18. I'm gonna play as Whis. Then I've played as 18 before. But seriously, stop with the sausage fest. I mean, come on. Seriously, come on. Stop it. Also, when I was doing this mission, I can't keep something happening. I'm sorry about that. When I was doing this mission, I was not. I did not, you know, I was like, in the beginning of the mission, I knew I was going to fight Meta Cooler, Final Form Cooler, and Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I had no idea I was fighting Hirudigon, and as soon as I saw him appear, I was like, fuck, because I didn't want to deal with it. And I got saved at the last second by Majin Buu. Now he's a bad guy, now is he? No, he is not. Uh, you know, before this game was released, I was a lot more excited about the giant boss battles. You know, with the uh, giant characters, but I'm, as, as you actually do the battles, I'm, I really don't much care for them, because it's really, in the end, it's pretty much the same strategy. I attack the legs. Alright, because attacking using the legs is the smart strategy. It's the less risque, risque strategy, you know? You're going to attack the legs, The once that you're done attacking the legs, they're vulnerable. Once that happens, you're going to unleash your ultimate attack, because by then you're probably gather enough energy to reduce the last ultra, your ultimate attack. Which in my case is the Super Saiyan God Kamehameha, which is red. And it's fucking awesome. Going on to another Dragon Ball Z game, back to the Xenoverse, I, uh, another hope I'm having is they don't cut out G... Well, you know, they probably are going to cut out GT because we actually do see an image of Trunks from the way he looked from Dragon Ball Online, where he started the, t um, the Time Force Please, whatever, and he had this like you know this different outfit on. Uh, I don't know. I, just, I mean, it's, you know, like people complain so much about GT, but I mean the two biggest things off the top of my head I didn't really think of that really made GT great was one Super Saiyan Four. You can't deny Super Saiyan Four wasn't fucking amazing. You can say the first time you saw Super Saiyan Four, you're like, oh my god, that is the fucking awesome. You can't say you didn't think that. You can't. No, you can't. And second, and I've said this before, I'm pretty sure, GT's ending. I love GT's ending 50 times more than Dragon Ball Z's ending. It was that great. It was that good. And now we are moving on to Bills and Whis, who are both stronger than Super Saiyan Vegito. But we can't play Super Saiyan Vegito in this game, because you had to do some pre-order bullshit at one of the two stores, but now you can get them for like three bucks each. You can get Super Saiyan, Go oh, you get Super Vegito and Super Saiyan Bardock for a total of six bucks. So that's you know two ninety nine each. So technically fifty nine ninety eight or fifty five ninety eight. I'm tired. Of Why the hell do we keep on doing two ninety nine? It's bullshit. There's no point. Stop it. Stop it. Also. Starless Battle, I did go after Whis first because he is technically a support class. And I didn't really, and I don't know. You know, I'm playing a Super Saiyan God Goku. The reason, the reason I chose Super Saiyan God Goku is because I knew I was fighting Bill and Whis. And I thought it would be more of an awesome battle, you know. Because, you know, it's fucking Super Saiyan God Goku. It's Goku in all, overall, really. And, you know, Goku's just fucking awesome, you know. He's just that awesome, and unfortunately we'll never see Goku Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3 because the reason Super Saiyan God came out is because we don't have to do Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3 anymore. Yeah, if you didn't know, Akira Toriyama pretty much said you know, in one of his interviews that he's pretty much done with Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. This is one of the reasons for God Mode and Goku retain most of that God power. Because, and... I'm not gonna complain, but then again, I think Super Saiyan 3 was pretty fucking cool, even though the hair style was fucking ridiculous. Also, Dragon Ball Z fans rejoice. Goku kicks Superman's ass. And what, you may ask? A rap battle. Yeah, a rap battle. Didn't see that coming, now did ya? Yeah, Goku kicks Superman's ass. It was awesome. I know. If you saw Epic Rap Battle's Battle of Goku vs. Superman, you can't defend Superman. His second verse, oh my god, that's laggy. Laggy, laggy, laggy. Or, wrong I say, maybe when it's done rendering, it won't be as bad. Or maybe it's just going here. Whatever. But you can't defend Superman, no. His, his second verse was weak. His second verse was weak. 
And he goes to destroy Superman with the second verse. You know? Because it's awesome. But I won't sing it. And it sucked. Because both my supports died. Which means there's only Vegeta left. And Vegeta's not going to heal me. Because Vegeta doesn't do that. He doesn't heal. Because he's not a team player like that. You know? He's strong, but he's not a team player. And I defeated Whis at some point. I wasn't actually really paying much attention. And Whis is... Another problem with this game is just like... And, like... In Raging Blast, Budokai Kakechi, you know, when you fought an enemy, you fought an enemy, alright? You know, he might, he would, you know, some of the enemies would be slightly stronger than others, but in the end, that's what it was. And in this game, these fucking, some, a lot of these enemies that have the star next to their name are cheats. They cheat. And I don't like it. Because it's like, hey, I was hitting you. You should be doing recoil damage, you know? Uh, no I'm not, because I'm a fucking boss, and I can punch you even though you punched me first. Because shit and stuff. Yeah. Oh man, this... I'm, this vlog I'm watching is bad. Oh man. How I... How I Miami plays better than this. I like beer. Like beer shit, so it can only like, play How I Miami for like, 10 seconds while dude, then... After that it's like, 10 FPS. Which is horrible. And sad. And not fun at all. Fuck no, it's fun as hell because it goes in slow motion, which means killing people is even better! Yeah! Is this where I second died the second time? Yeah, this is where I died my second time. So I had two retries throughout this entire match, but, you know, it takes me two minutes just to finish off fucking bills. I mean, why? Why does it take two minutes just to get someone's health down by 35%? This is not Ninja Gaiden! Alright? This isn't supposed to be some uber hard game. It's supposed to be fun action. You know? <laughs> then again, you know, it's cool because this game actually does bring in a, uh, a level of, oh, how should I say it? Planning. Because in this game you have cards, and the cards have different effects. And you're going to match different special cards, because you only get two special cards. And you're going to try to mix and match them to get this better combination. You know what I mean? You know, like... Uh... Oh, so what I was thinking of? Like, with, um, Android 18, I have- I gave her a, uh, an auto-block card, and a card that uses her energy to block, so she takes, like, almost no damage from blocking. Which is, like, the best... uh, combination for a healer. Like, you know, it's a combination I saw from this other guy, who was sitting said, if you're going to do this combination, you might as well play as Whis. And right here, I sucked. Because I couldn't get around the fucking rocks. I mean, come on. I'm Goku. Just punch my way through the rocks. I mean, it's not that difficult. You know? Instant transmission. Then again. Well, I mean, this guy, he, he doesn't have a version of instant transmission. But I didn't even get. I only got 45% of my 45 energy out there. It was horrible. I'm sorry. I should have done better. That energy could have gone to someone that could have really needed it. it they could have really needed it, but I didn't give it to them. Why? Well, screw them. And I'm ranked 195 now. I didn't even know I was that high. I didn't even think I was going past rank 100. And then again, that's from playing the story mode constantly. I'm sorry. Not story mode. Mission mode. Because there's nothing else to play. But that's all for now, guys. You have a good time. Peace out. Everybody, since you're still here, why don't you go check out my other DBZ related videos, like some more mission related Dragon Ball Z Battle Z videos, an on a couple of online matches from Dragon Ball Battle Z, and why don't you even check out my more popular series of videos called ZEQ2, which is kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like an online fan made Dragon Ball Z game where you import skins, you can really make anything. It's decent. Why don't you go check it out? You can click on each one of these videos to get a direct link to wherever they are from. So yeah, why don't you go do that? Do that. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.